His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 8 for this year on amending Article 9 of Law 11 of 1975 with respect to passports. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gudaybiyah Palace the General Secretariat of the General Federation of Bahrain Trade Unions, headed by its Secretary General Hassan Al Halawaji. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to support the Federation and to facilitate its work on all levels. The Federation Secretary General hailed His Royal Highness numerous efforts which boosted the kingdom's status on international level. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of supporting the government's efforts and initiatives that aim to provide provide a suitable working environment for citizens in the public and private sectors. He expressed the government's keenness to adopt initiatives that aim to provide better job opportunities to citizens and wish the Federation every success. Mr. Halwaji conveyed the greetings of the Federation's affiliates to the Prime Minister for his keenness to train and develop national labour and affirmed the Federation's keenness to deliver a bright image of the labour sector on all levels. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the advisor of the Jordanian monarch for military affairs, Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Mash'al Mohammed Al Zaban and his delegation to attend the 13th meeting of the Bahraini-Jordanian Joint Committee. The BDF Commander-in-Chief hailed bilateral relations and the keenness of both countries to strengthen the brotherly relations. The meeting involved discussions about bilateral cooperation and joint military coordination in order to further enhance their relations. Relations. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, chaired the regular meeting today. The Council condemned the terrorist acts in Tunisia, Turkey, Egypt, Belgium and Pakistan, calling for world cooperation to combat terrorism. The Council also condemned Israel's confiscation of Palestinian territories in the West Bank. The Council then congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on being honoured with the Leader Award 2016 by the International Federation of Training and Development Organisations. The meeting then discussed a number of scheduled topics. Good evening, you're watching the Business and News on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,132.67 points, down 0.97 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 91% of total shares. 27 transactions involved 1,139,155 shares worth 443,780 BD.
Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Al Hild marched towards winning the first division football league title for the first time in its history after beating Al Rafa with two goals to one in a pulsating 13 round of competition with two goals from Nigerian Yuruk and forward Mohamed Ramehi. Al Hild will need nine points to declare themselves champions of the league. Harag and Al-Ahli dominated the positive tie with two goals each. This shrinks the fortunes of Harag to keep the league title after staying away 10 points behind the leaders. Harag goals came through Ismail Abdel Latif and Brazilian Elias with Said Mehdi and Brazilian Clayton scoring for Al-Ahli. Manama and Al Malkia shared the points with a 1 1 scoreline. Malkia first goal came by Sayyid Rada Isa in the 39th minute, then Boyan equalized the score in the 53rd minute. The equalizer kept Manama at the bottom of the table with 11 points, while Malkia jumped to 8th with 14 points. <laughs> 